I'm going to be doing a bit of segmentation work in 3D Slicer. I'm using 3D Slicer 4.11. So first of all, we're going to bring in the Diacom file. And then we're going to head straight over to the segmentation, which is this little icon here. It's the segment editor. Make sure you get this icon and left click it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a segment. And in the segment, we're going to click on threshold. And then we've got a slider and we're going to slide this that we don't have too much noise, but yet we have a, a proper decent outline of the diacom. I'm going to grab a crosshair and then shift on the keyboard and moving the mouse. I get to see every slice from every different angle. And this is dense enough, there's not too much noise. I'm going to apply this and we're going to, to show in 3D. This takes a while to calculate depending how big the model is. Now we're going to be placing implants in the maxilla and as you can see, we've got a lot of scatter happening at the bottom. And as I move through the slice, we can actually pick up where the scatter is over here. And that's probably due to bridges in the patient's mouth. I also noticed that there are two sphere-shaped items. Now, we don't get to see this, but... This is part and parcel of a denture in the patient's mouth. And these little uh, metal uh, spheres or marbles or little balls have been placed inside the denture that we can then align the denture to the CT scan section model later on to make an implant guide. Note, however, how much scatter is there. And if we import this into Blender, for example, how will we get a decent alignment? We, we will not do that. So we need to perhaps segment these balls out of the, the, the um, scan and then make our own 3D models based on that. And this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. But before I do that, we're going to, to clean up the segmentation model. Simply click on the, the scissors and then get to choose either arrays inside or arrays outside. We're going to click on arrays outside for now. So I'm going to be making myself a little model. Just big enough so we can work with it. And let it do its thing. Good. I'm going to view this from the other side and do the same thing. That's perfect. All right, how do we segment out these balls? Now that's quite easy. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the, this maxilla segmentation add a new segmentation and we're going to go back to the threshold but this time we're going to change the threshold that we can get these spheres. So it's just just about adjusting your segmentation and sooner or later you're going to get the, the perfect segmentation for this. So it's not this way. We need to do this the other way around. So there we go. Perfect. All right. So this is what I'm I'm looking for. Click on apply, and and then what we're going to do is it brings it up, and it's even segmented my little implants, which are already existent in the in the maxilla. This is really good. And we're going to go back to the scissors and we're going to cut out all of the lower 
stuff that we don't need. But this time around, I'm going to erase what is inside. That's good. And these little spheres we can then use for the ICP alignment tool. Up, oh, that is wrong. Arrays inside. That's good. Let us view both sections. And this is what I want to have transferred into my blender. We're going to double click this. Now I have already renamed it, but just type in a new name for the, for the top one. I'll put in Maxilla and I've changed from segment to lo locators. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this specific one, this drop box, this little icon over there, export to files, choose the folder where you want to save it in, and then based on that, I've got it on my desktop, and then choose, choose that folder, and then make sure it's STL file, all of the other ones are unchecked, you have to, have to make sure this is RAS and then click on export and then go to this one and do exactly the same thing. Export. And, and now it's time to open up Blender and import these objects.